Hello, Mr. Angus Wangus here. Just wanted to make a video uh, to show you what, I'm up, what I've been doing. I've been very, very busy lately, but again, but um, I've been still working at this and chipping away at it <laughs> when I have time and energy in the evenings. But usually. But um, what I've been doing, uh, first of all, I, I took my other wheel apart, I had it out there in the sunroom. And uh, after that last vid, uh, I had the um, rebar U-Core on there and talking about the better reaction with the U-Core uh, solid core, U-Core. And I took the core and the coils off and it was going, uh, I didn't touch the input. And I checked the RPMs and it was 700 right on the dot. It was 699 and 700 right there on the money. So, and that was at uh, 280 or 300 milliamps at 6 or 7 volts. Now, I took that apart because I knew it could be better and I, I thought it could be more efficient. <laughs> and I've ended up pretty much cutting it in half. So right now I'm under a watt that it's using. Uh, we'll check the RPM, and I got it going basic, basically the same, 700 RPM, tiny bit over, basically the same as it was running out there, but I'm using, I think, less than half the energy, so if you do the math, it works out to um, under a watt, it's just under a watt. Now what I've done is I took it apart, the uprights weren't straight, I shortened them out, sturdy it up a lot. This was actually even uh, flimsy. Uh, this is a lot straighter. But the biggest change that I made, the upgrade that I made was, uh, this is a new wheel. This was the old one. And I made it slightly smaller. This is actually a square piece of wood with four magnets on it. And I think that's where uh, a lot of the savings came from. And I think I can make this half a centimeter smaller. So that's what I might do tonight, is make that a little bit smaller. But I'm under a watt here, which is awesome. Uh, the other thing I've been working at, sorry about my shadow, is this Bedini. I made this Bedini setup. Now I had this wheel on the end of the Bedini and testing it. and. I really wanted to give the Bedini driver a go still um, because it's uh, it's a better driver system I think um, but plus the added magnets give it a bit of a flywheel effect but I couldn't make it do the same amount of work this cheaply for the wattage I'm using here so that's so why I'm going to be testing my new toy I made this Jeez, I've been working at this every day, a little bit at least. But I've had this made for a few days at least, and uh, wanted to get to testing it tonight, but I've completely whooped <laughs> for the day. Uh, anyways, this is an idea I've been thinking about for a few months, talking to my friends about. Um, and I think this is similar to what Ed had the infamous picture of Ed standing next to his wheel and on the little platform there it's got what looks like a box I think well I think he had coils in there on two prongs and you can see in the picture that it's flat in the back and it's rectangular I think this is what he was doing I melted this together with my homemade welder that was my first video on YouTube Showing my homemade welder, microwave oven transformer. It does a pretty good job for little things like this. Yay! Cleaned up the grunt of our welds on the bottom. But anyways, that's gonna it's still a U-core, right? Pretty much. But the magnetism is gonna flow against the backs of the coils. And the solid iron, like I talked about in my last bit, is beneficial. And I've had my coils uh, 
from the big wheel um, driving a little wheel just like this you know going 600 rpm so this is going to be really interesting one watt now I know my output from my other video <laughs> didn't look that great and um, there's a reason for that uh, these coils any coil is going to be a limited potential energy source right and really um, the only way to test the output is with a watt meter and like it's a bit of a can of worms but <laughs> anyways that's the explanation and um, uh, for for the output I knew that battery was probably the worst load I could put on it and um, but I wanted to make the video of it but anyways um, I think I'm going to be able to cover this, especially with this new setup. But anyways, I have to make a, a new stand for it and get her hooked up. But I've I've run out of energy tonight, and that'll be first thing tomorrow. There you go. Just wanted to show you guys. And I think I'm going to make, I'll probably sit here tonight and make this real smaller by uh, one centimeter. And that should maybe even improve this even more for the RPMs. Anyways, wanted to give an update on what I was doing, and I'll have another video tomorrow. I wanted to make, I wanted to wait until I got this hooked up and tested it, make a video, but I wanted to make a video and show what I was up to for you guys. But I'll very, very, very likely have a video of this tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. Anyways. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good weekend, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.